Hi there. Now, while it certainly is a challenge to find the best tools that are worthy of your hard-earned money, it isn't impossible, especially when you have a reliable source like our channel to point you in the right direction and show you the brands you can trust. Now, in preparing this list, we reviewed literally dozens of products, and we based our rankings on a number of factors, including the features of the product, value for money, and the reputation of the manufacturer. We even read countless reviews from actual users. If you choose from this list, you can be sure you'll be buying one of the best tools available today. And make sure to check the product links down below in the description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, let's get started. This is Nadine from Native Instruments, and today I'm going to give you an overview of some of the new features in Complete Control MK2. In the center, we have these new color screens which show different things depending on whether you're using the keyboard with the Complete Control software, your DAW, or with Machina. And around the screens, you can see that the layout has been redesigned and that there are more buttons now to give you direct access to key features. Over here, we have two big pitch and modulation wheels to add expression to notes that you're playing. And below that, there's also a touch strip to modulate your sound in creative ways. So let's look at some new features. The main hub is the Complete Control software. And now browsing through all your instruments and presets is much faster, partly thanks to the screens, which give you a lot of visual feedback over your libraries, but also because of a new feature called Sound Previews. A preview lets you hear a short audio example of every preset while you're browsing. Sound previews are particularly useful when you're working with big orchestral sample libraries which take a while to load, like this one from Symphony Series. Every preset in Complete and NKS instruments, such as those from Arturia, Output, Sonic Couture, and Heaviosity, have their own previews. The next thing I want to show you is how the MK2 works in different environments in DAWs. Here I have a simple project open in Ableton Live, and the first thing I can do is use this new four-directional push encoder to move through my song. It's really easy to use and common functions like switching between tracks, and some more special features like scrubbing through the timeline are assigned to it. On the left-hand side of the keyboard, you have the typical transport controls for playback and recording, but also some new ones like undo redo in case you make a mistake, quantize to correct timing issues after you've recorded something, and automation to make a sound evolve over time. I have the complete control software loaded up on a few tracks already, so let's record a sound. Mm. 
I'll quantize those notes I just played to get the timing right and add some automation to make the sound change over time. Once you've finished recording, you can switch to the next instrument using the encoder and record something on top. I already recorded some instruments, which I'm going to fade in now using the new DAW mixer. The left and right arrows scroll through your entire project and you can use the knobs and buttons to adjust things like volume and panning and to mute and solo specific tracks. This way you can get really hands-on with your music and change the character of your song just by turning a few knobs. Switching between all your clips and scenes in Ableton Live Session View is also really easy now using the big encoder. This is great for trying out different ideas as well as for launching multiple song parts during a performance. Let's switch to another DAW now, Logic 10. Just like in Ableton Live, you can navigate and mix your tracks straight from the MK2. This also works in GarageBand and is coming to Cubase and Uendo this year. The Machina integration has also gone up to a whole new level now. It's actually loaded as a plugin in Logic, so let's open it up and take a look. Now the MK2 is switched over to control Machina, and from here you can browse for instruments and projects, as well as mix all your groups and sounds using the screens. It's also possible now to trigger all the sounds of a group in complete control using key mode. This is great if you prefer to play kits on your keyboard instead of on the 16 machine pads. Once you've created some patterns, you can listen to all of them in Machina's Ideas view. Here you can also combine patterns from different instruments to create scenes. You can switch between the different scenes using the eight buttons up here. This is great for figuring out arrangements as well as for performing. If you're using the MK2 together with the new Machina hardware, it's possible to set up the screens on both units to show different things. So for example, I can have the Machina mixer visible on complete control and the arranger view visible on the Machina displays. This way you have direct access to your most important controls on both devices. That's our short overview showing some of the new features for Complete Control MK2. Thanks for checking it out and take a look on the website for more details. You wanna learn to be teaching my